welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat chari karti bari bharti sanjari harti lilaya विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम यो खिलन जगत चरी करति बरी भरति संजरी हरति लीलया इन दिस कोर्स वी आर स्टडीइंग थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप्स ऑफ समासस इन संस्कृत नेमली अव्ययी भाव बहुव्रीही एंड द्वंद्व so far in this course we have already studied the avyayi bhava samasa and currently we are studying the bahubrihi samasa which is a very very important and unique feature of sanskrit where the constituents have the head outside of the compound this is very unique indicating the plane of the intellect on which the speaker is speaking the features of the bahubrihi samasa can be explained in terms of a small equation shown below x plus y is equal to xy so x and y are two independent separate entities in terms of the word form and also the meaning and also the accent now they are interrelated semantically which is shown by the plus sign in between now the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge them together and generate an output in the form of xy xy is one unit in terms of the meaning as well as the word form as well as the accent in general it can be said to have the following three features namely aikarthya or ekarthata having one meaning aikapadya or ekapadatta having one word form and aikasvarya or ekasvarata having one accent these are the three features of xy now as far as the avyayi bhava samasa and tatpurusha samasa we use the bold characters to mark the head of the newly generated unit xy in terms of its constituents as far as the tatpurusha samasa is concerned we marked y with bold characters to indicate that y acts as the head of the tatpurusha samasa in the avyayi bhava samasa we marked x as the head by marking it in the bold characters now in the bahubrihi samasa we neither marked x nor y with the bold characters this this mainly indicates that neither of them acts as the head of the samasa the head of this samasa lies outside of this samasa not one of the constituents but rather an outer word which is anyapada so bahubrihi samasa is described as anyapadartha pradhana anyapadartha pradhana these are the features of the bahubrihi samasa now in the ashtadhyayi the bahubrihi samasa is stated at different places samasa vidhayaka sutra namely the compound prescribing sutras the sutras which lay down the conditions for the samasa to take place they are stated from 2.2.23 onwards up to 2.2.28 2.2.23 is shesho bahubrihi and 2.2.28 is tena saheti tulya yoge 2.2.29 is charthe dwandvaha then the samasanta pratyay vidhayaka sutras are stated in the section 
5.4.113 onwards up to 5.4.160. This big section also includes some sutras which prescribe the samasanta adesha, the substitution at the end of the samasa. Then we also have the Swara Vidhayaka Sutras, Sutras prescribing the accent related to the Bahuvrihi Samasa. So we have 6.2.1 Bahuvriha Prakritya Purva Padam, the main sutra, and then we have a section that begins with 6.2.106 onwards up to 6.2.120 and also 6.2.162 onwards up to 6.2.177. This is where the Swaravidhayaka Sutras are stated. This is how Panini treats Bahuvrihi Samasa in the Ashtadhyayi. Now currently we are focused on the study of the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras. We have already studied Shesho Bahuvrihi 2 to 23 and then also 2 to 24 namely Anekam Anyapadarthe. Let us proceed further and study 2 to 25 which is Sankhyaya Vyaya Sanna Duradhika Sankhyaha Sakhyaye. This particular sutra. This is the topic of today's lecture. The sutra is Sankhyaya Avyaya Asanna Adura Adhika Sankhyaha Sankhyaye. There are three padas in the sutra. Sankhyaya is the first pada. This is the tritiya ekavachana of Sankhya, 3 slash 1, meaning with the word denoting the number. The second pada is avyaya, asana, adura, adhika and Sankhyaha. This big samasa contains five constituents, avyaya, asana, adura, adhika and Sankhya. And this word is in the prathama bahuvachana namely 1 slash 3. So what it means is indeclinables and the words asana, adura, adhika and the words denoting the number, they. Since this word is mentioned in Prathama Vibhakti, the Sutra Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam applies and terms them as Upasarjana and then by the Sutra Upasarjanam Purvam, these words occupy the initial position of the Samasa. And the next word is Sankhyaya, which is Saptami Ekavachana of the word Sankhyaya, 7 slash 1, and this means in the sense of what is to be counted, something that is to be measured. The words continued are Sup from 212, Sahasupa from 214. Samasaha from 213 and Samartha Padavidhi from 211. All this put together, the meaning of the sutra is available to us in the following way. An interrelated Subanta, whose Pratipadika is a number word denoting what is to be counted, gets compounded with the other correlated or interrelated Subanta, whose Pratipadika is either of an indeclinable or the words asana, adura and adhika and, and the number and the resultant compound is called bahuvrihi. I repeat, an interrelated subanta whose pratipadika is a number word denoting what is to be counted gets compounded with the other interrelated subanta whose pratipadika is either of an indeclinable or the words asana, adura, adhika and sankhya, that is number, and the resultant compound is called bahuvrihi. I repeat, an interrelated subanta, samartham subantam, Uch Pratipadika is a number word denoting what is to be counted, Sankhyaye ya Sankhya, gets compounded, Sasamasyate, with the other interrelated Subanta, Samarthaihi Subantaisaha, 
whose pratipadika is either of an indeclinable avyaya or the words asanna, adura and adhika, avyaya, asanna, adura, adhika and also a number, sankhya, and the resultant compound, samasaha, is called bahuvrihi, bahuvrihi. The words asana and adura mean close or near and adhika means more than. Avyaya is an indeclinable and we have studied in detail what an avyaya is when we studied the avyayi bhava samasa. So the meaning of this sutra can be stated in terms of the following equations. If you have avyaya as well as asana as well as adura and also adhika and also sankhya as the pratipadika of the purvapada followed by the supratyaya plus sankhya which means sankhya year followed by su in this case the supratyaya gets deleted and then we have output namely avyaya sankhya asana sankhya adura sankhya adhika sankhya and also sankhya sankhya this is the output generated by this particular sutra a quick note on the number words in sanskrit and when they denote sankhya year, that is what is to be counted so numbers 1 to 19 in sanskrit always stand for the Sankhya, namely what is to be counted and never for the number itself. From 20 onwards, the numbers stand for both Sankhya and what, that is what is to be counted and also the Sankhya, that is the number itself. So we have a famous statement, Vimshatyadya Sadaikatve Sarva Sankhya Sankhya Yoho Vimshatyadyaha Sankhyaha Sarvaha Sankhya Sankhya Yoho and they are always also in singular number. Let us go to the concrete example. So when we have to convey the meaning, those which are near 10 in number, that means we are referring to either 9 or 11 entities. So we have Dashanam Samipe Ye Bhavanti Te that is the laukika vigraha and then we have the alaukika vigraha namely upa plus chas plus dashan plus aam dashanam samipe upa plus jas plus dashan plus aam the pratipadika in dasha is dashan so now we have the sutra applying and so we have the alaukika vigraha ready so Samasa Saudhnya takes place immediately after which the Samasanta Pratyaya Dach gets added Bahuvriha Sankhyaya Dach Abahuganath according to this particular sutra in 5.4 and so we have Upa plus Chas plus Dashan plus Aam plus Dach and so we have now the Samasa Saudhnya taking place so Pratipadika Saudhnya takes place so we apply Sopodhatup Pratipadika Yoho and so now we have upa plus zero plus dashan plus zero plus a. And then nastadhita is the sutra that applies which deletes an of dashan. And so we have upa plus zero plus dash plus zero plus a. And then we join them together and we get the form upa dasha as the finally derived compound output of the bahuvrihi samasa. Then we add the suffix just after Upadasha and we get the form Upadashaha. What Upadashaha stands for is Nava that is 9 entities or Ekadasha that is 11 entities. A remarkable feature of this particular Samasa is that even though it is stated to be a Bahuvrihi, this is a Purva Padartha Pradhana Samasa. Purva Padartha Pradhana is generally admitted to be the feature or the property of and avyayi bhava samasa. However, here this is formally a bahuvrihi samasa, but semantically it is purva padartha pradhana.
So now, the next question is, what is the difference between this Bahuvrihi and the Avyayi Bhava Samasa stated by 216 in the sense of Samipa? Remember, we have a big Samasa, big Sutra stating the conditions of Avyayi Bhava Samasa. We read the Sutra as Avyayam Vibhakti Samipa Samriddhi Vriddhi Arthabhava Atyaya Asamprati Shabda Pradurbhava Paschat Yatha Anupurvya Yoga Padya Sadrishya Sampati Sakalya Antavachaneshu. In this sutra, the word Samipa also occurs. So now, what is the difference between the Bahuvrihi Samasa stated by 2.2.25 and the Avebhava Samasa stated by 2.1.6 in the sense of Samipa? When what is near is the head, it is a Bahuvrihi Samasa. As clear as that. Yadatu sami pinaha pradhanyam tada bahuvrihi. When nearness is the head and not what is near, then it is avyayi bhava. Yadatu sami pasya pradhanyam tada avyayi bhava. This is the semantic difference as to as to what element will be the head. Let us take. Another example, those which are near 10 in number, that is the meaning to be conveyed. Dashanam asanna ye bhavanti te. Dashanam asanna ye bhavanti te. This is the laukika vigraha. Now from this we get the alaukika vigraha, namely asanna plus chas plus dashan plus am. Now we have the Alaukika Vigraha, so Samasa Saudhnya takes place, immediately after which we add the Samasanta suffix Dutch, which is added by the Sutra, Bahuvriha Sankhya Dutch Abahuganath. And then we have Asanna plus Chas plus Dashan plus Arm plus Dutch. Now here the Samasa Saudhnya has taken place, so the Pratipadika Saudhnya takes place. And then Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies and deletes both the sups. So we have Asana plus 0 plus Dashan plus 0 plus A. And then the Sutra Nastadhite applies Nanta Sevasya Terlopas Syat Ikare Tadhite Chapare. And so we have Asana plus 0 plus Dash plus 0 plus A. And when we join them together, we get the form Asana Dasha as the finally derived compound output of the Bahuvrihi Samasa. And when we use this word in the sentence, we add the suffix just after it. So we have Asadna Dasha plus Chasa. And then when we join them together, we get the form Asadna Dashaha. Asadna Dashaha could be again Nava or Ekadasha, nine entities or eleven entities. Similarly, when we have to convey the meaning, those which are near 10 in number, the Alaukika Vigraha could also be Dashanam Aduraya Bhavanti Te. Now, since in the Sutra, Avyaya Sanna Duradhika Sankhyaha, all of them, they are stated in Prathama Vibhakti, so they get Upasarjana Saudhnya because of Prathama Nirdishtam Samas Upasarjanam. And then they occupy the initial position of the Samasa because of Upasarjanam Purvam. So we have Adura plus Chasa plus Dashan plus Am. Samasa Saudhnya takes place and then we add the Samasanta suffix Bahuvrihav Sankhya Dach Abhauganath. And then we have Adura plus Chas plus Dashan plus Am plus Dach. Now Samasa Saudhnya has taken place. So the Pratibhadika Saudhnya now takes place. And then Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies, which deletes both the sups. So we have Adura plus 0 plus Dashan plus 0 plus A. And then we delete the un part of Dashana, Nastadhite, Nantasya, Bhasya, Lopasya, Ikare, Tadhite, Chapare. And then we have Adura plus 0 plus Dash plus 0 plus A. And when we join them together, we get the form Adura Dasha. 
So we add the suffix just after this and we get the form adura jasha plus jas and finally we get adura dashaha which again means nava or ekadasha, nine entities or eleven entities. Lastly, we have, we also have the next example namely those which are more than ten in number. Dashanam adhikaye bhavanti te. So we have adhika plus jas plus dashan plus am where we have the samasanta pratyaya added by the sutra bahuvriha sankhyaya dach abahuvanat. So we have adhika plus jas plus dashan plus am plus dach and then we get the pratyavadika saudhnya and then we apply the sutra supadhatu pratyavadika yoho and so we get adhika plus zero plus dashan plus zero plus a and then we apply nastadhite which deletes an of dashan so we have adhika plus zero plus dash plus zero plus a and when we join them together we get the form adhika dasha and then when we use it in the sentence we get adhika dasha plus jasa and finally we get adhika dashaha which means ekadasha onwards 11 entities here the samasanta pratyaya dutch is added by the sutra bahu vrihav sankhyaye dutch a bahu ganat finally we have the sankhya getting some compounded with another sankhya two or three entities dvauva trayova this is the laukika vigraha and the alaukika vigraha is dvi plus au plus three plus jas. Now here once again we add the samasanta suffix dutch because of the sutra bahuvriha sankhya dutch abahuganat and then we have dvi plus au plus three plus jas plus dutch and then we get the pratipadika saudhya so we apply suppose hatup pratipadika yoho and delete both the sups so we have b plus zero plus three plus zero and so we have dvi plus zero plus three plus zero plus a and then we have the e of three which is a t part which gets deleted because of yase feature and so we have dvi plus zero plus tr plus a and finally we get the form dvitra which is the finally derived compound output then we add the suffix just to this dvitva which gives us the form dvitraha which means two or three so the sentence used is dvitraha purushaha aniyantam may you bring two or three men dvitraha purushaha aniyantam dvitra is a peculiar kind of bahuvrihi samasa the compound expresses the sense of va that is or now doubt happens to be the basic semantic condition for this particular compound and therefore it is always in plural as the commentators say avidnyate arthe bahuvachanam prayuktavyam the meaning that you don't know about anything about is always to be used in plural and so we have dvitraha plural to summarize we studied a peculiar bahuvrihi samasa and its peculiar features which are stated by 2.2.25 although in one case the purvapada is an avyaya the compound is still not an avyayi bhava upadasha and so on both have purvapadartha pradhanata yet they are different as the shades of meanings are denoted by each of them they are different in another case the bahuvrihi samasa is based on the semantic condition doubt or vartha or samshaya and it is in plural mainly because in doubt entities are referred to in plural the commentators say samshaya jnanasya 
ಉಭಯ ಪಕ್ಷ ಪರಾಮರ್ಶಿತ್ವೇನ ಬವ್ವರ್ಥ ವಿಷಯತ್ವಾತ್ ವಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಹುವ್ರಿಹಿ ಸಮಾಸ ವಿಧಾಯಕ ಸೂತ್ರಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಫರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬೈ ಅಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್